Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEOpub.com. And in this video, it's time. Google Analytics 4 is here. Universal Analytics is going away in a few more days. And I wanna show you how to track form submissions inside Google Analytics 4. Before I dive into that, if you're new to the SEO Pub, head over to the SEOpub.com. Make sure you sign up for the email list there where I send out tips like this once every, every week straight to your inbox. Okay, so what we're gonna do inside Google Analytics 4, we're gonna track we're going to set up tracking form submissions using Google Tag Manager. And one thing that, just to make you aware of, if you go into the admin section, go on the data streams, click on this, you'll see this option for enhanced measurement. And I recommend everyone turn this on. And what it will do is it will automatically track certain events, um, page views, scrolls, any of these that you turn on, outbound links, site search, video engagement, file downloads, and it also has form interactions. Turn this off. Make sure it's off. And there's two reasons that you don't want to use this. It will automatically capture form interactions if you have this turned on, but there's two problems with it. The first one is it interacts in a weird way with Facebook Pixel. So if you have Facebook Pixel running on your site to run Facebook ads uh, now or in the future, collect data, this will interact really strange with it. What it will do is it sends data, your, your website sending data to Facebook Pixel as a form submission. So every page that loads, Google Analytics 4 will track that as a form submission. The second reason that you don't want to use this is it also collects error submissions as completed form submissions. What I mean by that is if I went in here and let's say that I put my name in and then I put some email address um, and I forgot the .com. If I hit the submit button, it gets an there's an error that pops up if you have this turned on though in Google Analytics 4 it'll count that as a form submission and then when I fix it and submit again it'll also count that as a form submission so you'll you'll count extra form submissions if you have this turned on because every error is going to count as a form submission so keep that turned off and what we're going to do this is a brand new Google Analytics 4 account I set up just a few days ago just for this video and I also have a brand new Google Tag Manager account that I set up just for this video. The only thing I have tag I have set up is my GA4 configuration. What we're gonna do though, we're gonna set up a new tag to track form submissions, but before you do that, you have to go into variables and go to configure. And if you've never done this before, scroll down to you see forms and you wanna make sure that you check all these off. By default, these are off. You want to make sure that you have these checked so that it's collecting this form data for you. If you don't do that, none of this will work. One thing that we want to do is we want to collect data on a specific form. I'm going to use this site, my site, the SEOpub.com, and I want to collect form submissions for the email list. But at the bottom, I also have a form down here for anyone who wants to inquire about hiring me for work. I don't, I want to track that one separately. They're, they're, they serve different purposes. So I want, I want the data on them separate. In order to do that, I need to have a way to distinguish those forms from one another. And the easiest way to do that is with a form ID. We're gonna set up our tag to track form submissions. And the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna create a new tag. I'm gonna call this email signup. And it's gonna be a GA4 event. And I'm gonna use the GA4 configuration. You can also set this up with a manual ID. So if you don't have the configuration set up yet, if you go into analytics, go back to admin where we were before, data streams, click on this. This is your measurement ID. So you would copy that and go to manually set and just paste that in there. And that it'll do the same thing. It'll send all the data to your correct analytics account. I have the configuration set up though, so I'm just going to use that. Uh, we're going to name this as this event as email signup. Best practice in uh, analytics is to use snake case, so use the underscore. And I'm going to set up an event parameter. This is an extra step. You don't have to do this. I'm going to set up though email signup URL, and I'm going to give it a value of page URL. The reason for this is. I want to see what URL people are on when they submit the form. I have the form on the home page, but I also have kind of a blog style here where I some of the 
tips that I, I send out weekly I post publicly, not all of them. Um, but there's a form here that people can fill out. And then any of the ones that are posted, people can go read. And at the bottom, there's an email sign up there. So I want to see which one of these URLs someone's on when they fill out the form. So for that reason, I'm going to use this. It'll, tr it'll send this extra data, uh, parameter data, along with the event to analytics. You don't have to do that, though. It's Like I said, it's just an extra step. And then we need to set up a new trigger. And this is going to be um, form submission. And we're going to use the form submission trigger type. And right now I'm going to leave it on all forms. As I just explained though, we don't want to track all forms. We want to track this one separately, but I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We first need to set it up this way though. So you save that. And now we're going to go into Google Tag Assistant to test this. And the reason that we're doing this is we want to get the form ID of this form so that we can identify this form as unique from this form. The way that you do that, you notice that the on Tag Assistant, our Google uh, GA4 configuration is fired, but the email signup has not fired yet. If we fill this out, and hit the Join Now button, and I go back over here, and notice the email signup has fired, and you see the form submit here. If we go to form submit, and we go to variables, what we want to find is the form ID, so that we can identify that form specifically. And if you scroll down here, you'll see right here's form ID, it's fluent form two. So we're going to copy that, and I'm going to get out of Tag Assistant. And if I go back into our tag that we set up, what I want to change is the trigger. And instead of all forms, we want some forms. And we want the form with the form ID. You can use either contains or equals, doesn't really matter. Fluid form two. Hit save. And now if we go back into Tag Assistant to test this, again in Tag Assistant you notice the email signup has not fired yet. So now if I go and fill out this form, and hit Submit, and go back into Tag Assistant, you notice email signup still hasn't fired because it's looking for that specific form ID for the form up top. If I go and do this one now, submit the form, and now you see the email signup has fired. So it's now working correctly. We can get out of Tag Assistant. And the last step we have to do here inside Tag Manager is we have to publish this tag. So we go to Submit, Publish, and it should be live now. We can test it. So we fill this out. And if we go into analytics now and go look at the real time report and look down events, you'll see email sign up is, is firing now. So that we know that our event is working. The way that you track this as a conversion is you go into admin, go to events, and you'll see it show up here. Now, I did this a while ago. Normally it takes, it can be like 24 to 48 hours until you see a new event showing up. So if you've filled it out, it could be working correctly. You may not see your email sign up event right away. Just check it the next day. And if you don't, still don't see it, check it the day after. It can take 
24 to 48 hours until they show up. Once you see it showing up here though, you just hit this mark as conversion. And now in all your reports that have conversions in it, this email sign up will track as a conversion for you. So that's it, pretty simple. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and I'll see everyone in the next video.